What's happening my YouTube dudes? And ladies. We're getting ready to jump into a quick shoulder workout. For the sake of this video, I've got everything in the description, the sets, and the reps. So let's jump into it. So we're going to get started here with a quick warm-up for shoulders, guys. You want to make sure that you warm up your shoulders really, really good. Because this is a, one of the muscles besides your legs that can really, really mess you over. And you really don't want to risk a shoulder injury, especially if you're a beginner. Um, so you want to make sure you get them nice and warm. We do just a couple of exercises just to make sure that we get them nice and warm. Here we're just doing some quick shoulder flies you just want to make sure that you use a light weight and this is just for a warm-up so you don't want to use a heavy weight and then you can jump straight into a couple of presses for the warm-up you want to make sure you don't really go past 15 reps I usually do between uh, 10 to 12 reps for the warm-ups alright guys so we're gonna jump straight into the workout here we're gonna do overhead dumbbell presses you want to make sure for the first set do um don't do your your full weight you want to make sure don't go your heaviest you want to make sure that you go somewhere in between because you're still sort of warming up your shoulders you want to um come down to about parallel a 90 and then, degree right about 90 degrees even with the floors for these i prefer to sit down um, you can do it standing up, it just puts a whole lot of tension on your on your lower back and your spine. So I prefer to sit down and really control the motion. And on this one, I'm actually doing one set. This is the last set of my, um, of my shoulder presses. I'm doing uh, three sets of 10 to 12 and then one set of 20. So this is the last one I'm doing uh, overhead presses for 20. And it may not seem like a lot, guys. You're not going to need a whole lot of weight. But towards the end of this exercise, as you can see in my facial expressions, looks like I'm freaking diarrhea, diarrhea face. So just um, go light and just rep it out for reps on this last one, and, and that's really, really gonna do the it. job. Really yeah, feel it. really feel it. All right, guys. So again, I'm just man. God bless America you love and yoga me. pants. Oh my God. So again, just doing presses. I'm doing a lightweight for my first one, and then I actually Jumping went into, into arms. Arnold's. I like to do half and half. It really gets my range of motion to stretch out a lot. All right, guys. We're gonna jump straight into overhead presses. One arm overhead presses with a twist. So this exercise is almost like the overhead um, overhead presses except for when you hit the top you hit a little twist and this is really going to target the front delt and the side delt and you just want to make sure that you either go parallel or a little bit below uh, as you can see in the video I'm kind of going a little bit lower that's because I have really light weight so, but you just want to make sure that you control the motion you don't want to be rocking back and forth with it um, cause then you're really gonna defeat the purpose of this exercise. And damn, look at that bicep vein, jeez, man. This one's actually one of my all time favorite workouts for shoulders. I really feel like this packs on the muscle. Um, but it can also But you be... can really mess yourself up if you're doing it the wrong way. Yeah. I see a lot of guys, they're going up with their hands and not with their elbows. So for these, you wanna make sure that you're really going up with your elbows and not with your hands. Damn, look at that face. I've got, that's a diarrhea face right there. Guys, if you're in the gym and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you don't have this face, you need to go up and wait. Cause this weight right here is gonna rock your world. And if that weight don't rock your world, I don't know what's going to. So this, Damn, look shut at that. up. So this side angle, you can actually tell how I'm not bringing my arms over my shoulders. Actually, you want to have your, not your arms, I'm sorry, your hands over your shoulders. You want to keep your hands a little bit further down than your shoulders to focus on that upward movement of your shoulder. Next, we're going to jump into a dumbbell front raise. For this one, I like to go a little bit heavy. Um, a lot of guys might have shoulder issues with this one, so you just want to make sure that you um, that you go you go light uh, with, to start off. Yeah, and then work your way up. Don't just start going crazy with the weights all of a sudden because you're gonna really snap your freaking shoulders. Um, and then if your shoulder is giving you issues, the way I'm doing it here is I'm going parallel with the floor, but you can also do a hammer raise, which may help uh, your shoulder as well. Man, look at that face. Looks like I haven't freaking eaten in months. That's all the diarrhea you have. That's all the diarrhea phase I've been doing lately. But for this one, guys, um, this this is rear delts. 
you want to make sure that you are planted in the seat make sure that your crotch is touching the seat and you want to make sure that you are really really squeezing it out at the end portion of the exercise and I really like this one because you can really uh, add a lot of weight to it also guys just make sure you're not swinging your arms back all the way because that will cause you it looks to... like, like you're doing some type of dance move or something you're ridiculous I look better than you without that diarrhea Man, face. she's lying. So don't swing your arms back all the way. You will wind up hurting yourself. So just make sure you're focusing on that squeeze the, the jolly and feeling giant. that rear delt. <laughs> oh That's more like it. Look at that angle. Look at those striations. At least we can't see your diarrhea face. Oh my goodness. But so yeah, guys. So you want to make sure that you squeeze it out at the end of the motion. And don't be scared to add a little bit of weight to this one because um, this one, it's, it's really hard to injure yourself on if this motion. If you're not motion. swinging all the way Yeah, back. just make sure you're not swinging like you're freaking doing some type of dance move. So guys, Orlando threw in some flagpole action for y'all trying to show flex. off. Yeah, flex my ass. All right, so look, he's been working on this for about three, maybe three and a half months, and it does take a little while to get a hang of. The hell it does. He barely got it up the first time. Don't, oh. say, it. Don't say that. <laughs> all right, guys, last but not least, we're doing shrugs to finish up the workout. This one I like to do three sets, nice and heavy. Unfortunately, Planet Fitness only carries 75 pound dumbbells. Um, so just work with what you have, but you wanna make sure that you keep your hands uh, by your side, but not rubbing against your thighs. You wanna make sure you keep them out um, and really squeeze at the top of the motion. And when you finish that last set, that third set of shrugs, you jump straight into the fourth set, which is really, really lightweight shrugs. For this one, you wanna lean your body forward ever so slightly and keep your arms back and really flex your back. And when you get to the top of the motion, hold it and squeeze it, guys. And so this is the end of the workout, guys. I hope you liked it. I know it was quick. But I hope it was effective. Comment below, subscribe, let me know how you like the workout. But most of all, stay watching, my friends. Bye.